Rosanna and I traveled during the pandemic and we felt quite safe. Follow the tips on how to travel in the pandemic and don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel and click the bell to receive notifications of our new videos. Living from Alfreda, it took over 24 hours to reach our destination, Goiânia, capital of the state of Goiás in the midwest of Brazil. We started getting ready for this trip at least one week before it. Here's a couple of bonus tips. If you want to avoid public restrooms as much as possible on your trip, change your diet one to two days ahead of time. Also, pack everything you need during the flights in your carry-on luggage. As soon as we passed through security, we went straight to Terminal E, but there was nothing open there. Tá tudo fechado aqui. Terminal vazio, né? É 18. Não tem um restaurante aberto. We then proceeded to Terminal D, where we can have a beer and some food before the flight. So here an important tip. Ask the check-in agent what are the options inside the terminals. Time to prepare and organize the stuff for the flight. Remember to take pictures to document the moment. If you are a Google Maps or a Google Photo user, you can follow your trip through the timeline. Soon after, we went to Terminal E. The free shop on this side was closed. If you wanted to buy anything, it would have to be on Terminal D before coming here. Don't forget, what you buy here is not part of your free shop quota in Brazil. As Delta was blocking the central seats in the middle rows, we reserved the seat on the left and the right side of the centrals. And with that, we had four seats to share. My screen did those crazy things without me telling it to. So I moved to the next seat. I was happy with the measures taken by Delta for our safety. The Guarulhos airport is quite large and has several options of food and things to do. The internet service is free for two hours. Brazilian law only allows passengers to enter the secure area three hours ahead of the flight. Some places did not accept my American Express card, so I was able to use the debit card and this happened in several places during my stay in Brazil. Not all cards are accepted at merchants, so take a credit card that does not have an international usage fee or a debit card and always carry cash. One more warning. Pay close attention to your boarding gate, that can change at any time. As a reminder, in most of Brazil, the use of masks are required. Markets and shopping centers are checking for temperature and also forcing the use of masks. Keep an eye on your reservation, changes can happen. Now I remember why it's so important to have a travel agent. Here I go to Vera Couples. 
this leg of the trip was more tiring, together with the anxiety of coming home. When arriving in Viracopos, coming from Goiânia, remember that the international area only opens 3 hours before the flight. I should have have stayed inside the domestic area. Zimbabwe and arrivals, Conexão Internacional Pier A, Conexão Doméstica Pier B. So the tip is, if you're going to make this connection from Goiânia to Fort Lauderdale to Viracopos and take an early flight like mine that was at 2 p.m. and arrived at 3.40, what happened is this? Well, the international terminal only allowed passengers 3 hours earlier before their flight. And at this time, they were boarding Lisbon. Because of that, I had to stay outside. Out here I parked at this nice little cafe. There are also two other cafes on the other side. And a pharmacy. Not a lot of options because my flight was later on. I had to stay here until 6.30 and then come to enter the international area. Needless to say, I don't know what's on the other side at the international area. Another tip. I'm in Veracopos, so I always wanted to say that I'm dizzy in Toronto. I'm turning the glass in Viracopos. Viracopos again is turn the glass in Portuguese. Alright, let's continue inside. I entered the international area where there was only two restaurants open through the duty-free shop and they waited three hours for the flight. When the boarding agents showed up, I waited for them to organize and serve the first passengers. I went there to talk to them, I bought an upgrade to business class. It was another $320, maybe changing me to a better seat. I'm very grateful to the agent that helped me. He got me a middle seat and I ended up with four seats. I had a very nice and quiet flight. Upon landing in the United States, I had global entry, and because of that, I went through immigration in less than 5 minutes. And after that, I picked up my bags, and customs was much faster. We landed at Terminal 4 and had to walk to Terminal 1. There was a bus, however, I had missed it for a few seconds. My Southwest flight was at 1 o'clock in the afternoon, and upon arriving at the check-in, I asked the agent to change my flight but it was many points. She then gave me the tip to use the app to change my ticket myself. I got 1500 points back. The work of airline agents have been very difficult with the stress and uncertainty of personal cuts and everything else. I realized that and they are doing everything as possible to serve the agents as well as they can. I'm very grateful for that. It was a busy 15 days. We celebrated our granddaughter's birthday. We also had time to create some episodes. We interviewed Jan Bayaki, one of the great names in gastronomy today, and some of his ventures. I went to grab the straw and grab rooftop. We also went to the ice cream parlor Alata, that is with the original flair, also become yet another tasty tour. In Pirinopolis, a historic and tourist town in Goiás, we met our friend in Algi at the Loft Quinta do Rosario, one of the projects he has built. Soon after, he took us to the park of the Coqueiro. Also in Piri, a loving way that everyone calls the city. 
It's a must-see waterfall complex. At last, we returned to Guayana and visited the Rock Steak House, a restaurant with the rock and roll team and decoration dedicated to its history. Wait for the new episodes, click like on this video, subscribe to our channel and click on the bell to receive notifications when our videos are posted.